Okay, in this video we're going to do some example questions on the topic of geometric series. So the first one, for the infinite sequence, the infinite geometric sequence, a half, one quarter, one eighth, find the sum to infinity, and consequently find what proportion each of the first three terms contributes to this sum as a percentage. So for the first part, by inspection, the common ratio r is equal to a half, because a half times a half is one quarter, a quarter times a half equals one eighth. The first term a equals a half. So the sum to infinity is given by the formula a divided by one minus r, for r is less than, or for the absolute value of r, less than one. So let's sub in our numbers here. We've got a half divided by 1 minus a half, which equals a half divided by a half, which of course equals 1. So we found the first part. We found the answer to the first part of this problem. The second part is to find what contribution does each term contribute to the sum. So let's have a look at T1 first, the first term. So T1 over the infinite sum is equal to a half over 1, which equals a half, which is a 50% uh, contribution. T2, the second term over the sum, is equal to 1 eighth. Since the sum is equal to 1, I won't bother dividing by 1. I'm sorry, it's actually equal to a quarter. The next term is equal to an eighth. So we have one quarter, which is 25% of the contribution. T3 on the sum is equal to one eighth. And that's 12.5% of the contribution. So we can see that subsequently each term is contributing less and less and less. Actually, each term is contributing 50% less than the previous term. So that's our answer to the second part. Now for the second question, a sequence of numbers is defined by Tn is such that we have the number 9, then negative 3, then 1, and so on and so forth. Find the sum of the first nine terms. Okay, so for the first part of the question, let's find the common ratio R, which we can divide successive terms. So let's divide the second term and the first term. And that's equal to negative 3 divided by 9, which is equal to 1, sorry, negative 1 third. And we note that the magnitude, the absolute value, is less than 1. So for the first nine terms, S sub 9, we use the formula. The formula is S sub n is equal to a by 1 minus r to the power of n divided by 1 minus r. So that's summing to the first n terms. So for s sub 9, we have, let's write it out, a times 1 minus r to the power of 9 divided by 1 minus r. And substituting our values in, the first term is 9 outside of 1 minus negative 1 third to the power of 9. And on the bottom, we have 1 minus negative 1 third. And if we plug that into a calculator, it is approximately 6.75034. Or if you would like to precisely express it as an improper fraction, it is 4921, 4921 over 729. Now for the second part of the problem, find the sum of all the terms between and including T10 and T5. For this one, I'm going to write out the sum partially. So summing up to the 15th term, if we write out all the terms in the sum, we have, and I'm going to write it in reverse as well. So we have a by r to the power of 14 plus a by r to the power of 13 plus a by r to the power of 12 plus a by r to the power of 11 plus a by r to the power of 10 plus a by r to the power of 9. So this term here is t10. And if I continue to add, 
the next term is a by r to the power of 8, plus so on and so forth. Now the question asked me to find just the sum of these terms up, up to and including t10. So this term here is t15. So instead of manually adding up all of these numbers, let's just subtract s9, which means we'll be subtracting ar to the power of 8, minus so on and so forth. And that means the remaining terms will just cancel. So S15 minus S9, I could just subtract from the answer that I have, but uh, let's just work out an expression because I think that'll be easier and less error prone as well. So for S15, we have A outside of 1 minus R to the 15th to the 15th power divided by 1 minus R minus for S9, we have A outside of 1 minus R to the 9th term to the ninth index, to the ninth power, divided by 1 minus r. So we can factor out 1 minus, sorry, a on 1 minus r, and we're left with 1 minus r to the power of 15 minus 1 plus r to the ninth power. So that's just expanding this negative into the parentheses here. And this simplifies to a on 1 minus r by 1 and negative 1 cancel, and I can write this as r to the 9th power minus r to the 15th power. So now if I sub in the numbers, we have 9 over 1 minus negative 1 third by negative 1 third to the power of 9 minus negative 1 third to the power of 15. And if we sub that into a calculator correctly, we should get the answer negative 3.42 by 10 to the negative 4. And that's an approximate answer as well, so it approximately equals negative 0.000342. So quite a small number indeed. And the third part is to find the sum to infinity. So let's do that. Third part of the question find s infinity, which we know is given by uh, a divided by 1 minus r. So a being 9 divided by 1 minus, and r is negative 3. This works out to be 1, sorry, 9 over 1 plus 1 third, which equals 9 divided by 4 thirds which equals 27 over 4, which equals 6 and 3 quarters as a mixed fraction, or equals 6.75 as a decimal. Okay, and just a note here, the sum of the first nine terms is slightly larger than the sum to infinity, and initially you might think that's not possible, but we have to note here that the common ratio r is a negative number. So it's an alternating sequence between positive and negative numbers. And that means this larger number summing to the first nine terms makes sense because having a negative common ratio, we might be subtracting from this number when we add the subsequent terms. So we're adding and subtracting smaller and smaller numbers. And eventually we will get to this sort of round number of 6.75. Okay, let's do one more example. For the geometric sequence, root 5 plus root 3, root 5 minus root 3, and so on and so forth. Find the common factor r and the sum of the infinite series. Okay, so this is a bit more tricky one, but we can still use all the same principles. So the first term we're given is equal to root 5 plus root 3. And the second term, t2, is equal to root 5 minus root 3. And we know the common ratio can be found by dividing two successive terms, the bigger first on the numerator and the smaller term on the denominator. Actually, that was a bad way of saying it. I'll just say T2 first on the numerator and T1 on the denominator. So the latter term on the numerator and the earlier term on the denominator. And that is equal to root 5 minus root 3 
all over root 5 plus root 3. So we have a division of two third expressions, which we can rationalize the denominator by multiplying by root 5 minus root 3 on root 5 minus root 3. So multiplying by the conjugate of the denominator top and bottom. So on the top, this is just the same as squaring a binomial. We have 5 minus 2 times root 5 by root 3 plus root 3 squared, which equals 3. And on the bottom, we have the difference of two squares. So we have 5 minus 3. So simplifying, we have 5 plus 3, which equals 8, minus 2 on root 15. Sorry, 2 by root 15, divided by 2. So that simplifies to 4 minus root 15. And we can confirm that root 15 is approximately equal to 3.8 something something. So 4 minus 3.8 gives us 0 0.2. So the common ratio, the absolute value of it is less than 1. So this series will converge and we can find the sum of the infinite series. So s infinity then is equal to, again, a on 1 minus r, with our first term being root 5 plus root 3 divided by 1 minus 4 minus root 15. So this simplifies to, let's leave the top the same for now, root 5 plus root 3 divided by, once I take this negative 1 into the parentheses, I'll have root 15 minus 4 plus 1, which equals minus 3. And now I can do the same thing, multiply top and bottom by the conjugate of the denominator. So we have root 15 plus 3, root 15 plus 3. On the top, I can perform a FOIL, first, outer, inner, and last. So we have root 15 by root 5, which is root 75, root 5 by 3, which is 3, root 5, plus root 3 by root 15, which is root 45. On the bottom, we have the difference of two squares again, so we have 15 minus 9. So working all this out, root 75 I can write as root 25 by 3. Root 25 is equal to 5, so it's 5 root 3 plus 3 root 5. I can't simplify that anymore. Plus root 45 is 9 by 5, root 9 by 5, so that is 3 by root 5 plus 3 root 3, which I can't simplify any further, all over 15 minus 9 is equal to 6. So further simplifying, we have s infinity is equal to 6 root 5 plus 8 root 3 over 6, and we can further simplify that to 3 root 5 plus 4 root 3 over 3. So our final answer is 3 root 5 plus 4 root 3 all over 3. Okay, so that covers three example questions on the addition formulae for the geometric series. If you found this video useful, please like and share it on social media with your friends. Make this channel famous. Ask me any question below in the comments section and I'll try my best to answer them for you. And if you can, I'd appreciate any small donation uh, through PayPal. I'll leave the link. I'll leave the link in the description because helping any little bit will help me make more videos for you. Thank you for watching. Best of luck with your math studies and I'll see you on the next video.